morning. Good morning. Yeah, Welcome yeah. back to Isla Familia. Yeah, I don't swear for. Yeah, this is Anton, Mama, Kuya Alex, and Tata. Oh, together with Magda. Today we're going to the beach. <laughs> and Tata. Tata will go for a dive. And yes, Mama, Mama with the monkeys <laughs> will stay on the beach. Stay, I mean, on, stay on the shore. Stay on the shore because, you know, just relax. Today is like Freedom Day. <laughs> freedom Day, it's Sunday. If you like to record something, it's not good because of the wind. No, I will not be filming. I will not record. Okay, back to the phone. Brenda. Yeah, Jamie. So first start of this episode is Banden Snake Eel, uh, which have uh, very very interesting behavior. It's called Bat Batesian mimicry. So he pretend he's a banded sea snake in like in the look and all, also in the be behavior. <laughs> he moves like a banded sea snake uh, and looks like it. So. Thanks to this, he feels like safe during the day. He can uh, he can hunt, look for food easy, and mainly all other eels they they stay in the hideouts during the days. Uh, from this finding, I'm really proud of. Uh, this is a Costa Sierra species. I cannot identify it like. Uh, clearly but it's so beautiful so it's it's like a cousin of of Sean the sheep uh, and this guy here was he was like uh, less than one centimeter in length maybe like eight millimeters something like that and be very beautiful colors and kind of you know like a broken thing on it amazing I visit Blue Spotted Race again in this month because, you know, they are so cool to uh, observe and and this dive site is, is good, so we go there again like one, one or twice. You can s so you can observe again these beautiful creatures, you know, how they how they swimming, very majestic, you know, movement. I really like it. And another ornate ghost pipe fish. But this time she have uh, also like interesting colors, you know, because at the back of her is like a old coconut tree. So you can see guys, she's like dark, red, white, just like the surroundings. And, and, and this one have a sack uh, full of eggs. You can see this uh, at the zoom. So there will be more ghost pipe fishes soon. Oh, just right here, you can see the eggs. She's incubating.
That was also good discover in, in last month. Actually, this is the reef closest to my house. So it's like maybe 500 meters away from my house. And you can just jump into the water and see something like that, you know, so... Really good findings of, of September, yeah. <laughs> You know, everyone telling you, ah, Darwin, Darwin, let's dive in Darwin, but... It, there is also good sites in Bakong. Uh, this is probably Hypsalodoris uh, Buloki. That's what we think. I also consult this with Critter Hunter and he said probably it's Hypsalodoris Buloki. I found it also on the reef next to my house, about 27 meters deep. Very beautiful nudie prank, you know. Nice, really nice finding. Next to my house I also found this beautiful, huge, old green sea turtle. Which don't give a shit about my presence around him, you know. He was like not stressed at all. And I, I could approach really close to him. Probably like 80 years old or, or more, you know. His, his head was the size of the human head, you know. Very big guy. And here you can see some uh, commensal shrimp, which uh, mainly living on the starfishes. You know, like normally they look like uh, some tiny brown reddish thing, yeah? because they have like around five millimeters or even maybe less sometimes. But when you zoom it, they really look amazing, as well like the starfish itself. You know? That was just funny, you know, to see this puffer fish composed into the mooring line, you know, and she's pretending I'm a part of the line. I'm not here. Yeah? <laughs> and this is also cool, cool looking nudie brang. It's uh, Indian nudie brang, Caloria indica. I, I found it like already a few times here. You know, Bakong, Dawin. So I think they are like uh, common here. But really cool looking creature. These two yellow clown gobies, you know, they they made my night dive. <laughs> they are so funny, you know, to watch. So I just stay there and observe them, you know, like these funny faces. And here I'm messing up with the peacock mantis shrimp. So he have like a hideout under the under the piece of a reef have like a hole and that's the entrance so I'm uh, I'm trying to get him out with my pointer stick it's always fun to play with them you know <laughs> and look at these eyes yeah probably the most sophisticated eyes in the animal world you know they can they can look 360 uh, angle with them you know they can they can look infrared 
they can uh, they can see the uh, polarization uh, of light you know pretty amazing creature giant moray so this guy can grow pretty big they can grow up to three meters long and then they are very thick you know like a, I don't know like a human leg or something like that uh, this is like a nocturnal creature so mainly during the day they are in the hideouts and they wait for night when they hunt hunting yeah? then they getting outside and they like to eat the lion fishes so they are kind of good for the reef because you know lion fish is like a they eating small fishes yeah? shama, shama. <laughs> <laughs> no, Antek ma parcie na szkło, słuchajcie, co najlepiej robić w deszczową niedzielę? Wiadomo, i sznurkować. Penile harlequin sweet lips. This is funny and this is also example of Batesian mimicry. Uh, they saying he pretending some kind of a flatworm. That's why he's swimming like this. Because this flatworm is also very venomous, so basically no one like to eat venomous things so they pretend the flatworm venomous flatworm to just stay alive yeah, and mess around later when they grow grow up they change the colors and they look a bit different and they and then they start to you know like swim normal here i found a nicely exposed cu a couple of banded coral shrimps that was the during night dive in Bakong uh, and you can see on the zoom uh, the, the female she have a she's full of eggs so there will be there will be babies too yeah that's the one with the eggs inside so nice nice observation too Crested Nembrota, Nembrota Cristata, kind of cool looking nudibranch. I always like to find the Nembrota uh, nudibranch, you know, like from this family because they, they look so soft, you know, and, and, and like, a, you know, like a, something like a teddy bear. <laughs> That's their gills. Uh, and also they have like kind of big rhinopores. So that's the, their horns, which they can smell and feel the water. And this boxfish, uh, later when she grow up, she will become like a cowfish. So that's the juvenile uh, version. And she ran away. That's the Gymnodori subflava, kind of cool looking nudibranch also. With the gills which looks like a hoof shape. And uh, the body is a bit transparent so you can see the insides. Also nice finding I think. Barrett Finn Moray. This guy growing up to one meter, so not so not so huge as the giant moray eel. I, I play with her a little bit with my pointing stick, but she's not so horny <laughs> to get out from the hideout, you know. It was during the day, so she don't like to get out. And that's the longhorn cowfish. Pretty cool creature. I always like like to see them, you know. That was the during night dive in Bakong, I think. The funny thing, they don't have the scales. They just have a kind of carapace on them. That's the interesting thing. 
and this guy, you know, with so funny eyes. I don't know this concrete species, but it's, you know, it's also like kind of mantis stream. So he was in the, in his, in his hideout and I just, I just uh, knock with my stick. So he get out and he hide again and we play like this for some time. Funny thing. Kind of a scorpion fish. I don't know which one, but it was like a cool looking, you know, black and then all this algae on, on him, you know. In my, uh, in my opinion, looks pretty cool. So that, that's why I, I video it. And, it. and he also enjoyed the light of my flashlight. You can see here he can eat for free all these plankton things so yeah it was also one of the night dives last month and here probably you can see the pack of sardines i'm not sure if this is sardines but i'm supposing so you can see very shallow water at the end of the dive i have meeting you know like that pretty cool Turning green. <laughs> okay, stop it. Oh yeah. So yeah. overload. <laughs> no, it's not overload. No one is on the re on the roof. Yeah. It's That's actually the... not yet overload, guys. We don't it's consider this a uh, as a uh, overload. This is like a normal thing. Right? There is still a space on the top. 20 pesos per head. Like in But this is like an army checkpoint. What's well, Kumelek, babe? This is like the place where the politics is. <laughs> oh! I don't know what is this. Checking the cars? Motorbikes. So now it's for the car, the Do you have license? Of course. I have license. You want to stop over and ask them what is going on here? What is this for? Well, I, I don't really understand the checkpoint here in Darwin, you know? <laughs> 